A Frog Grows Up by James De Amel. Today, while we're reading this book, we are going to be talking about concept of a letter. That means we are going to be paying attention to how the letters help us read the story. The first thing I want you to notice is that the letters make up the word. So in this word, there are how many letters? That's right, there's three. One, two, three. The word says the. The three letters come together to make one word, the. Next, we're going to see all of these letters come together to make up the word tadpole, the tadpole. Now we're going to come to the next page. There's only one word on the page. Let's see how many letters are in this word. That's right. There are one, two, three, four, five. Another thing I want to pay attention to is the first letter. That letter is the letter G. What sound does the letter G make? That's right. G, G. This says grows. I'm going to read the whole two pages again. The tadpole grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. And grows. into a frog. Let's do these letter sounds. We're going to focus on the first letter. The first letter is I. I, 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 I. Into, what letter is that? A. That's right. This time the A says its name. A. Into a what sound does F make? F -f 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 frog into a frog. The end. We are going to work in our workbook. I'm going to turn to the page that has the story we just read. A frog grows up. Draw a step from the book about how a frog grows up. Then write a sentence about your picture below. So right here, I would like you to write, to draw a picture from the story. I decided that I wanted to draw the picture of, <laughs> look at this, the tadpole. When the tadpole has the back legs, but they still have a tail which I thought was really interesting. So I wanted to try drawing that. So I'm going to start with the head and then kind of has little webbed feet and then goes all the way down, all the way back up. Got one eye. It kind of has like a line down his back. Okay, there's my tadpole. Now I need to write a sentence. Hmm, I'm going to use the book again to help me with the words. The tadpole. I'm going to use those same words because my picture has a tadpole. The tadpole. I'm going to really pay attention to the letters. T, pull down, across. A, around like a C, up, down. D, around like a C, up, down. T, A, D, 
pull, p, 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 pull down, around, O, pull around, L, pull down, E, pull across, around like a C, the tadpole grows, g, 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 pull down, The tadpole grows. Now, if it's the end of a sentence, I need to put a period. That tells my reader to stop reading. It's like a little stop sign.